welcome back everyone. My name is Altamar and we're going to be continuing our Let's Play of Wrath of the Righteous. Where we left last time, we were in Dresden again, and Lady Konami wants to have a chat. Commander, upon hearing word of your victory in the Battle of Dresden, many leaders in Avistan have considered taking a more active supporting role in the Crusade. Fighting demons in the name of saving the world is a prestigious endeavor, especially when the war is going well. The one whose help is accepted first will increase their standing in the political arena, which is why the powers are now competing for the right to conclude an alliance with Mendev before their rivals do. Nerosian has already chosen which of them is to be favored, Isgur. We've been building an alliance with that nation for a long time, and now the capital is expecting you to address the steward of Isgur with an official offer to support you. Last of all is Mendev's most trusted ally. If we're to ask someone for support, it should be them, the Shining Crusade. Let's say we invite these sword lords of Bravoy to this party. That's right. Or sorry, the righteous Mendevian knights just love those hot-headed provincials who will draw their weapons and challenge you to a duel at the drop of a hat. And get this, they win such duels. Nerosian will be ecstatic to have allies like these. And I hope the demons will enjoy their company as well. Just as a note, we happen to have a neighbor who's got barely any presence in the crusade. I'm talking about Numeria. It's believed to be too wild and barbaric to have any dealings with. How about we show everyone how wild and barbaric tribes can fight? and invite them to play a bigger part in our war. Everyone who wanted to come, because they listened to their heart, are already here. Time to call those who will listen to their purse. We'll drop a line in the Verisian cities, tempt them with some nice spoils, and loads of savvy folk will come running. Okay, so this is where we get to choose a wide array of uh, different units. These are our spellcaster units, I believe. So, well, no, those are mercenaries. Mercenaries, mercenaries. Okay, these are just new mercenary units. Okay, these aren't our spellcasting units. These are our mercenary units. We can get Inquisitors, which are actually pretty decent. They have 100 hit points. Scimitar plus twos. They deal okay damage. Decent amount of armor class. Sword Lords are actually quite good. Duelists. Uh, they have 155 hit points. Hit like freight trains. Uh, and they have decent armor class. They're actually not bad. Lands. Barbarians are quite damaging. Uh, low amount of hit points in armor, though. Rogues deal okay damage. They have two attacks though, which is kind of nice, I think. And uh, have low hit points and okay-ish armor, I suppose. And Isgur gives us Sorks. Sorcerers deal lots of damage with spells, obviously, but they are really, really bad in melee and will die if someone breathed at them the wrong way. So I'm actually leaning towards the duelists. You know what? Let's do it. Splendid. I'll refresh my old contacts and pleasant memories. I won't detain you any longer, Commander. I'll need time to resolve the scandal your decision will cause in the capital. Once it subsides, I will assemble the diplomatic council once more. Next one. Captain Odan. Captain Odan salutes you and looks over the military council intently. Our intelligence was correct. Ramzid, as host, marches on Dresden. In his position, the wisest course of action upon reaching the walls would be to lay siege and wear down our forces with nuisance raids. However, my experience tells me he'll act differently. This is going to be a full-on assault, a decisive display of power. When the enemy moves in our position, we must prepare or meet them with a hail of arrows from the walls, gaining full advantage of our superior defensive position. To prepare our army for this battle, I propose to pass a reform and increase the presence of ranged troops in our ranks. I believe lightly armored slingers, a great number of whom can be trained quickly, will be adequate for our purposes. And once the demons get to them, every single one of those slingers will be slaughtered. I say we only recruit experienced, seasoned rangers who have traveled far and wide and know how to defend themselves in any situation. Captain Odan is correct to assume that our ranged troops can manage with light armaments. However, the troops themselves must be of exemplary quality to complete the task at hand. I suggest we pick the most adept archers we have and have them undergo rigorous training until they become true marksmen. So we can get rangers who are really good, actually. We can also get um, Marksmen, also quite good. They deal a lot of damage, but you get so few of the Marksmen. Honestly, they're they're really rare, comparatively, anyways. And Slingers, I've never actually tried, but they're just so bad. I'm thinking Rangers are going to be the best bet for us. Snipers would be better. Honestly, the Marksmen deal a lot of damage, 29 to 36 damage on a hit. Uh, versus the 13 to 20. Well, actually, how many how much hit points do these guys have? They have very low hit points, though. Let's get the rangers. They can actually survive some hits. 
It's good to know you're not, you're not about to start throwing away the lives of your soldiers, not all generals. She pauses to glare at Captain Odan with undisguised anger. Treat their soldiers in the same way. I hope these measures will be enough to repel Karamzadeh's onslaught, and if not, those who come to take our place will learn from our mistakes and fare better. Alrighty, let's go take a look at our new military forces. We need to study the Sword of Valor. Actually, the researchers were divided on what exactly happened to the Sword of Valor. However, they did point out that the banner had belonged to Ayamade back in her mortal life, and then it had gained miraculous properties as if anticipating the ascension of its owner to divinity. Could its current change be an indication of the commander's greater future? That's the Diplomatic Council. That was the Art of War. And now we have other decrees to do. We have to disclose the letters obtained from Krinuk. Which gives us finance points income and material points income. That's already on its way though. That's 20 days worth. Do we have any more rank ups? No, we don't. We can upgrade to a bastion. We can make the um, giant's vi or village, which actually is a probably a good idea. Let's do that. And we're going to start doing more relics. So let's enchant to the Faultless Daybreak. It doesn't really matter which order we do these in. Yes, there are ones that are better than others, for sure. Like 100%. But uh, it's not that big of a deal, honestly. We now have... 115 rangers in our main force. And what can we do with them? There's a whole bunch of weird armies just sitting over there. Those are our duelists, but we don't really have a place for them at the moment. I will buy more of them later. Let's just put them over here for now. We just have champions and paladins and marksmen sitting over here. There are more rangers in this army. Let's take those out. We need them now. You can come join the other army. You can join the real force. You can be part of the big boys. Let's just move this guy over here and see if we can't join him into another semi-reserve army. Eventually we should get some... Uh, these mounted scouts will be cavalry in the future, but we'll see when that'll happen. It's going to be a hot minute. Actually, no, we can get there pretty fast. I was going to say it's going to be a hot minute before we get there, but that's not true. We're almost there now. There we go, 12 more rangers. There are enemies around, just nowhere near us. We should probably head up and finish this guy off. And then we need to go down where? There's an army down here we haven't killed, and there's several armies around over there we also haven't killed. But anyways, let's figure out what we're going to do with our actual time in this game. Our group needs something to do. I think we're going to go to the... Uh, What's it called? Area. You know, the one I'm talking about. The one that I haven't named. Or even given the slightest inclination as to what it could possibly be. You'll see in a second. What is that? Oh, that's the Boots of Free Rain. Right. There's just a white square. No idea why. Grab our normal group. We don't need Grey Boar yet, I don't think. Really not looking forward to that dragon fight. We won't be able to Phantasmal kill it. The Ashen Grotto, that's the one I'm going to. There's demons approaching, apparently. Oh, well, this army just got replenished. Cool, in terms of stuff. I think they're going to Gloomy Gorge, so we should probably make our way all the way over there. It's going to be a bit of a journey. We're out of movement. Moving on. Do I go this way to get there? There is someone on the road. Get ready. Is it a dragon? It might be a dragon. If it's a dragon, we need to split up and hope for the best because we are going to die. It's a dragon. Shit. I love to play with my food, even if it's armed with stupid steel. Toothpicks. Alright, uh, we need to run. You're going that way. Oh, she's going to breathe and kill everyone. Let's not be in a group for this. And in fact, you charge the dragon. Everyone, split up. No, where are you going? Darren, just move. Nenio got hit and killed. Damn. Alrighty. Let's try that again. We can't afford to have Nenio just get turned into ash instantly. Freaking dragon, I tell you. Wasn't expecting the dragon to come pop out yet. I guess I should have. My friends. 
Okay, good. We're on turn rate or on real time. Real time's really the only one you can do for this particular event. You go fight that. Let's just move this way then. Okay, everyone's still alive. It's for now, anyways. You guys run. Oh, this is bad. This is way worse than anything we could have imagined. Last stand will keep us alive. There we go. We last sanded it, which I guess was fine. And it ran away, of course. You're not supposed to actually kill it out here. Lead on. Well, I hope we get fatigued soon so we can rest and get our last stand back, but whatever. We did survive. That's the important thing. Now we continue on to the Ashen Grotto. We did. We kind of got fatigued at the end. Nenio did, anyways, but I'm not sure that's a big deal at the moment. What happened to the dragon guy? Isn't there a quest to go visit, like, a dragon graveyard thing? I also do not remember even the smallest bit what is in this place. It clearly wasn't that memorable of an area. But I need some more places to get more experience, so I'm hoping we'll get some here. hearing sounds. An ash giant is Keep sleeping on the ground. Do I care? No, I think we can charge him. Rely on me. Alright. No oh, we are not in turn-based mode. Unfortunate. That he gets to go so soon. What he missed? There are bugs. I saw them. Bugs. We're gonna get ready for them. I will resist. The inheritor. Guide my blade. Uh, Almost dead. So it comes to this. Almost dead-ish again. Not dead yet. Where's the fighters? This will leave a bruise. That actually really hurt. Didn't kill us though. Okay, we're waiting for the spiders to show up. My mouse seems to be moving slightly different than normal. Maybe the DPI changed on it a little. Waiting for spiders. There they are. Tick swarm. They are 20 to hit. We did zero damage to them all. They're immune to all the damage we're doing. Okay, let's back up. And let's do... Fire Snake. 18 damage, okay. That's not the worst. You've made your choice. They're completely immune to any sort of damage we're doing. Excellent. I don't suppose you can Bone Shaker. Do we try to animate dead them? That was a dumb thing. Can you magic missile them? No. No, you sure cannot. Uh, what about smite? I don't know if they're evil. No glory without All right, let's uh keep doing fire snakes. That was a much better attack. Good. Let's try that again. Can you bone shaker these? Like actual bone shaker, not anime dead. Nope. They are mean to like everything. It's very annoying. Uh, we might be able to fireball them. Ten whole damage, oof. Wow. I will resist. I'm so pleased by that. Do we have any weapons that do anything other than just normal damage now? No, that's just blind. That's not going to help at all. We could make it. We could get a soul shear and hope we get a demon. But no. That would be silly. Almost dead. I'll just have to resort to brute force. 
these are fun types of fights where you can't actually deal any damage and they're just there. Please die. Thank you. 90 whole experience from the Tick Swarm. Oh, I just picked up awful equipment. Drop that. Not even worth grabbing. Also, I'm carrying around breastplates and I don't know why. Anyways, let's... It doesn't matter. Yoink. I'm gonna take those. Please, no more Tick Swarms, although I... Let's have some fun. I'm gonna guess that there's many more Tick Swarms here. Oh, there's a boss type guy. Thraz the Spinebreaker. Alright, well, let's start shooting him. We did a pretty good amount of damage to him. He's probably evil, so I'm gonna smite evil on him. The inheritor, guide my blade. I'm all right. She's on last I'm all right. stand. That's fine. We're gonna start hammering out AoEs. Like a lot of them. Let's just fire snake right through there. So it comes to this. We took a big hit there. That's fine. Healing up. And lots and lots of fireballs. Decent. This will leave a bruise. Retreat is always an option. You're not dead, you're fine. Fraz is almost dead. She is stunned. Can't attack. And we just got killed. Somehow. I'm not even sure what we got killed by there. Let's get some more buffs going. Let's get some displacements. All the things, you know. This is a slightly tougher fight than I thought. We well, now know what's up here. And we can do a better job at fighting it. Missed me already. Yeah. Let's do the things that will help us win the thing, like heroism. And then things like oh. yes, what? displacement. Ah, uh, that. To move out, so it is restless. I wonder why. You save your spells. Sway from my path. And you do this. And then you do this. I'm always open and then you do. Ideas. That. And you do that. And you do this. Keep your wits about that. Does anyone Give displacement on. Yes. Good. Let me just haste up. Quick save. Should be good enough, I think. Here we go. They get a surprise round, which is less than good. The ticks are weird in this fight. Uh, this will leave a bruise. She is almost down because of that stupid con damage. She's immune to bubonic plague. How is she getting con damage? I guess we'll just have to heal it. I will resist. That did some damage. We did okay there. She'll be on last stand, so it won't matter. Uh, did I mess up again? Yell up everyone, I guess. More ticks are coming in, of course. She's fine. We can restore her after the fight. Okay. Prepare yourself. Kill Thraz. No, don't kill Thraz. Okay. So it comes to this. The uh, horrible rolls we're getting are not helping the situation even the littlest bit. Didn't quite kill Thraz. Killed Thraz. This will leave a bruise. Great. Then you're uh everyone's getting bubonic plagued up. 
Fun times. Nice try. Didn't work though. Oh, wrong spell. Uh, this one. Okay, those ones are gone. There's still one more swarm left. Desna, guide my hand. Almost killed that one. Awesome rolls, guys. So good. She's stunned. She can't cast anything, so we can't do anything about that. No, you're not. You're almost dead. You almost have zero con. All the ticks are gone. That's good. Make your peace. No fear. There we go. Okay. We have people that may or may not be plagued. Let's take a look. So, Ember is one. We're going to quick save and save scum this out. Because we can't afford to have her... Well, our main character instantly died, so that's actually really bad. Let's see if we can save him in time from the flag. That's going to be the more exciting one. We'll uh, try and get a heal going. Actually, I don't think it matters. I think it's literally just con damage kills him. We might have to redo this fight. Pausing right here. I'm up for an adventure. Can you even treat yourself? Yes, you can. Trust in yourself. Oh, the waiting's now. Keep healing. I literally don't think we can survive this unless we make the saving throws, which are how bad? 26. So we need to roll a 16. We need to roll a 16. They're both 26. Is he double? Wait, how is he dying? What is Kling? It has nothing to do with the plague, does it? Unknown source from the damage. Alright, we'll try again. This might take me a minute to figure out, but we'll get it done. Maybe Leon Hands will save his life. I will help where I can. Rules are made to be broken. Does anyone require my counsel? And everyone go! Ember can be healed. Okay. We'll just raise Ember from the dead. She's at what? Negative. She's at one point. Anyone else have the plague that's going to die in like three seconds? No. Well, maybe our main character. Keep your wits about you. We'll wait a couple of seconds to see if the next round kills him. I think we're good. Oh, the waiting's never fun. Where's that resurrection scroll? Or even a raised dead scroll. I'm good with either one. Doesn't matter. Uh, R. Do we actually have a raised dead? These ones are real expensive. Eh, I guess. All right, let's see if we can do it. Missed me already. And we're all golden. Everyone's alive. Let's do a normal restoration on you. Start curing some of this. Con drain. Is it damage or drain? That's just damage. Okay. There's still a weird sound of chittering. Alright, well, let's loot this place. What's a cheese crostata? Oh, that's how we make the... Okay. It's food. As long as we didn't die from... Die-die, we're fine. Everything's golden. There's nothing in here. How close are we to a level? That really didn't help us get that much closer, but... Oh, well. It's fine. Keep I think call. for now... We're gonna call it a video here. It's a little bit of a shorter one today, but that's fine. In the next video, we'll find somewhere else to go and get more experience. That was a very annoying fight, by the way. It also cost us $3,000 to res Ember. We're gonna jump back to Dresden and heal, I there think. On the bright side, I think that, that club is worth about three grand, so we came out ahead. 
Actually, the club's worth 17,000, so we came up much ahead. We'll buy another res scroll. I actually think res scrolls are way more expensive. We can just buy raised dead scrolls, which are way cheaper. So for now, like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. We will go to... Let's actually let's take a look at the map really quickly. Where can we go? We've done Wolgif's thing. We could go to the Grimwood. That's uh, Grey Boar's... Part of Grey Boar's quest. We could go to Winter Sun. It's not the worst one. We could definitely do it. Uh, we could go to the Shrine of Sacrifice, which actually is probably a pretty good idea to do and get that out of the way. All right, we'll go to Shrine of Sacrifice, and then, then after that we'll head to maybe Winter Sun. That sounds like a pretty decent moseying down there. We're done Green Gates, so everything is good. Take care, guys. See you all next time.